Hey guys, Dr. Huntington here again. So I was talking to a friend of mine last week about nutrition. And I said something to her about the fact that there are like good carbohydrates and bad carbohydrates. And she said to me, you know, I, I didn't, don't know if I really knew that. In fact, she said to me, I don't know if I really understand what a carbohydrate is. So that's the inspiration for this video. And uh, that's what we're going to call it. What is a carbohydrate? All right. The term carb carbohydrate refers to one of three macronutrients of food. So those three are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Now, carbohydrates refer to sugars, starches, and cellulose. All right? And they are found in fruits, grains. Now, grains, I'm going to clear that up because sometimes people have questions about that. But that's going to be your breads, your waffles, your pancakes, uh, your Pop-Tarts, your corn, rice, uh, pretzels, pastas, crackers, those kinds of things. Almost all of those are going to be grains. Vegetables, syrups. I throw that one in there because syrup is pretty common, especially with those pancakes and the waffles. But syrups, definitely carbohydrates. Junk foods. And I put soda over here on the side because sometimes when I say food, people, uh, they, they don't think of the liquids, right? But soda is definitely junk food, and it's a carbohydrate. Um, milk products, as well as beans and legumes. And I put those in a separate category, even though beans are legumes and legumes are vegetables. Uh, you know, but, uh, but there's a lot of diets out there that distinguish between most of the vegetable category and then legumes. So I list them separately. But they are all uh, carbohydrates. Now, here's the thing. So there are starches, sugars, and cellulose that are found in these foods mainly. And they all break down into the same thing, glucose, which is sugar. So if we're talking diabetes, if we're talking diabetic diet, we've got to be very careful with these things. And in fact, there's many of these things you probably shouldn't eat at all, all right? Um, because this is the direction they're going. All right, So you, you can see the problem here for a diabetic. The last thing you want to be doing is putting more sugar into your bloodstream. But there is a difference between these carbohydrates. It is true that there are nutrients that your body can use in just about every type of carbohydrate listed on the board. But some, some have lots of healthy nutrients, and some have only a few. And although carbohydrates do break down, into glucose, right, which is sugar, after you eat them, some of these carbohydrates only result in a tiny bit of sugar, while others, junk foods, grains, can result in a lot of sugar. So what you want to do is consume only those carbohydrates which give you the most nutrition and the least amount of sugar. So let's take a look. We'll start up here with fruits. Now most most fruits taste pretty good, and they're pretty sweet. So as you might imagine, fruits have quite a bit of sugar. All right, so not a great choice for a diabetic who's watching their blood sugar levels. Now, berries, which fall under fruits, are a separate category, and they are a good choice. We're talking blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, because you know they contain a lot of the phytonutrients uh, and other nutrients that are in fruits that are healthy that your body can use, but a smaller amount of sugar. Grains, there's not a lot of nutrition in grains. Uh, there is some. So I, you know, I know some of those comments are going to come that there's nutrition in grains. I know that. But there's not a lot of nutrition. It's not worth it for a diabetic to be eating grains. All right? And remember, corn, corn's not a vegetable. It's a grain. So it's in this category here. Now, vegetables. Vegetables are where you're going to want to eat the most carbohydrates because here, when you're talking vegetables, for the most part, they are going to give you the least amount of sugar for the most amount of nutrients. Right? So here in your vegetables is where you're going to get um, a lot of your vitamins and minerals and other phytonutrients that your body can actually use and are going to make you healthy. Uh, but you're not going to get a lot of sugar from these guys. So those are the ones that you want to eat. Uh, syrups. Now, uh, junk foods and soda. Mm, no. Definitely not those. Um, milk products, uh, personally, I don't eat milk. Uh, drink milk, I don't eat milk products. Uh, I am allergic to casein, which is one of the proteins 
right, in milk. So I definitely don't eat those. But um, you know, they break down into sugar. So it's not really a great part of a diabetic-friendly diet. And then beans and legumes, all right, well, you know, um, maybe not your best choices of all the vegetables for various reasons, uh, you know, but they do fall into the vegetable family. Uh, so it's going to depend on, you know, which legumes you're talking. All right. So you can see that pretty much leaves us with only two har carbohydrates that a diabetic really should be eating. Uh, lots of vegetables because they're a great source of vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that you, can, you, that you need for a healthy body, and berries. And the reason berries are okay for diabetics to eat is that their sugar content is much lower than the other fruits. So you can get all the other health benefits out of the berry in exchange for a very small amount of sugar. So it's a good trade-off that most diabetics can handle without the negative effects on their blood sugar. Okay, so here are some ways you can apply the information in this video. Number one, ditch the bun when you're eating a burger. Eat your burger without the bun. Even better yet, put it on a salad. And switch from ketchup to mustard on your burger if you use ketchup currently. Switch from other fruits to berries. And then swap out your cow's milk for unsweetened almond milk. And definitely eat more veggies. All right, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.